that he is an, uh, 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 he have a noble uh, ethic. You have, in order to, when you debate Muslims, you have to trap them. Otherwise, they never, if they knew what you would say next, they would never give an answer. As simple as that. The second they knew what you would say next, they would avoid the, the answer in every means. Do we have any Muhammad that would like to join us? He's a trustworthy, but yet his disciples is accusing him of stealing a piece of clothing. Any Muhammad? We have this guy from Qatar is back. Hello, it's me. Did you find some answer for the question I gave you? What question? I, I did give you the question and then I want... Okay, I will give you a question. You know, forget I, the question I gave to the one before you. The, the, you yes. Know, no, no, we go back actually. I said to you I... to read for me the Quran saying that Allah, he confirmed the book with us. You said Allah is confirming the book which was in the time of Jesus. So, yes, the time of Jesus, not right. yet. You don't read it all. Okay, but that, but that means the the book was with Jesus is the book with us because it says no, what is no. with them. I want you to read it all. What? You love it at five a.m. because if it isn't five a.m., I will get mad. It's five a.m. for you. Yes, because my family is sleeping. Oh, this is the time where Allah He come down. Do you know that? No, it's, uh, Allah came down every time. Allah is the king. King of Allah, kings. Guys, did he say Allah come down every time? What do you mean? No, no, like Allah can do anything what he wants. No, no, I just said Allah, he come down now. At five, he doesn't morning. come down. Are you sure? Yes. Why are you lying to me? Is that because I'm young and you're old? No, no, no. Are you, age taking, are you taking advantage time. of me? Because I'm not knowledgeable? Oh, yes, yes, no, no, okay, no. Okay, no, swear, no, swear by Allah, swear by Allah that Allah don't come down at 5 a.m. I don't know, I don't know. You said that again, a second ago, you don't. Yes, I said I don't know what Allah is doing right now. No, okay, do Allah do come know? down, do Allah He's come down. Like do Allah come down, like you, you. Do he come down or he don't? I don't know. Is that an answer? Yes. What do you know then? I know Allah's Allah's in the heaven, even like in his okay. throne. Can Allah go inside his creation? Um if he wants to he can, because Allah does have any limits. Oh, so Allah can go inside the man? Yes. So why you refuse Jesus to be God? Because because God can can die and cry like a baby. Well in Islam Jesus never die if this is the reason. Isn't you Muslim yes. believe that Jesus never died? Because Jesus was a man. He wasn't a God. But a second he ago is. you said to me, God can enter inside a man and he can be man. I'm saying, I'm saying God can do anything he wants, but that doesn't make any sense to him to be Okay, a prove man. to me that Allah can do anything he wants. Prove to me that Allah, he can do anything he wants. Because he's God. He okay. doesn't know what God means. All right. You see, there is somebody he says to me, he will make my face in my back. Can he do that unless he is God? Yes. He can't do that? Because God can do anything what he wants. He, he so, made you. But if, if Allah, he, he said, I will do that to you. If he could not do it, that means he is not God, right? And wait, can God become a dog? Your I'm God not, is I'm, your God is already question. a dog. No, see, see, you see, I'm asking a question. You uh, yes, you're, yes, because your God, Allah. Okay, hold on. Do Allah have a dog? No. Do you swear by Allah that He don't have a dog? You know, 
not uh, do you swear to your God, uh, not do you swear to your God. Do you swear by Allah that Allah have don't don't have a dog? Yes or no? Allah means God, Salah. Huh? Arab. Allah means God. I know, I know. You are saying it to me. I'm saying, do Allah have a have a dog? No, I don't know. If Allah have a dog, what what if He is God? Why He have a dog? Why He have a dog? I'm <laughs> What you tell you? Make me I know a Muslim. Allah. He said to me, a Muslim. He said to me, I don't know if he's lying. He said to me, I said, Allah have a dog. I said, no, you little boy. What? I said, I don't know. How do I know Allah? So I anything I say Allah. to you, anything I say to you, you say to me, I don't know. How we can talk? What we can talk about? What? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Just Jesus has a dog. I'm asking the same question because you're hypocrite. I don't know. I saw a hadith. It says he have a dog. His name is Muhammad. No, I saw it. I saw it. I saw it a in the Bible. I'm not, says, I'm not joking. Here we go. This is your God. This is your God. This is, this is, you see, this is, this is your God. This is your God. And this is the interpretation for the Quran. It says Allah has a dog. Why are you upset? I'm not throwing away. I do. This is the tafsir. And this is your scholars, they are saying Allah has a dog. What the problem? I want to see. All right. You want to see? Do you see it? Where is it? Allah dog, you see it? Here we go. He said, Muhammad, he said to the guy, aren't you afraid that Allah dog will eat you? Is it hadith? Yeah, and this is tafsir too. But which hadith? The Bukhari? I don't or... care, you know, my friend. This is your books. Why you are taking advantage of me? Because I'm because I'm naive. I don't know nothing. So here we go. Your God. Why your God? Allah have a dog. Is I thought dogs are dirty. Not you, Mark. I'm telling you a simple question. Not all hadith are true. So, you must, so are you saying to me, you Muslims are a bunch of liars, even you lie about what your prophet said? No, everyone is a liar. No one is, no, not everyone. We don't know who's, No, no, a second ago you said everyone is a liar. Is Muhammad is a liar? No, I'm saying to you. You said uh, everyone is a liar. I didn't, I said, I said, how do we know who's the truth or the liar? Because maybe it's a weak hadith. That is a good question. Okay. How we know who is saying the truth and who is a liar? Let us examine that. All right. The Quran says. Because, okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Did, did, did you, did you go Christians. to school? Did you go to school? Yes. All right. How how hail is made? What? Hail, hail. Hail means any hail. Hail, the ice, the one came from the sky, the ice. How yes. it's made? Yes. Uh -huh. Like heal the ice? I don't get what you're saying. Ice, the sky, when we have rain as hail. Where is coming from? Who make it? Allah made it. Where did he send it from? He made it. I don't know. I don't know how Allah made it. Allah so, made it. So. so anything I say to you, you say to me, I do not know? No, I know, but, but you're asking simple, stupid questions. Well, I want to know who is a stupid here. According to your God, according to your God, okay, according to your God, according to your God, hold on, according to your God, Allah, he sent hail from mountains in heaven. Is that a true or it's false? What? Allah, he sent hail from mountains in heaven. I think so, it's true. It's true, really. So, uh, those who they are in the weather and news, they lie. When they say there is like if there's a cold air uh, between the rain coming to the ground, etc. Jesus said, Jesus did not say, and your Bible, there's a lot of bad prophets. Uh -huh. Like, look at what they do. The I know, I the know. Or the yeah, Jesus, he says, he, Jesus, he said, be aware of false prophets like Muhammad. Right, I agree with you. Exactly. Here we go. Said to said the, the, Quran, the Quran says, look at the Allah, the he sent hail. The prophets. The boy. Just, just give me, just get me your dad here. Either your dad or your mom. Do we have an adult mature Muslim? You can't even have a conversation with those potatoes. Everybody says to you, I do not know. I'm not sure. 
look at your God. Does God have a dog? I mean, he told them that dogs are nudges, filthy. Yet Allah himself have a dog. What a stupid cult. The one who don't believe in Allah, Allah will send his dog to eat you. But I don't believe in you, Allah. Where is your dog? If you mean the dog, Muhammad is dead. Do we have any Muhammad that would like to join us? There's a lot of bad prophets in the Bible. Yeah? You see, in the Bible, when one person, doesn't matter who's he, do something bad, the Bible expose him. Your religion praise the one who do wrong. In the Bible, when David does wrong, God curse him, God destroy him, God even killed his son. That is the Bible. Is that true, guys? Go read it. God condemned his act. God took his kingdom. God demolished his kingdom. This is what the Bible says. This is telling you that's the book of truth. Otherwise, why? Why even the Jews will 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 keep a dog like a, 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 a like a, a, a document about such a thing? When they are so proud about David, that means they are very being very honest in, in what happened. Why do they want to keep such a, such a story? Because simply this is what happened. Yeah. So going back here in the video, funny video. I don't follow religion. I follow Jesus. Right. I am a, I am Christ follower. No, but I'm saying. I'm going to tell you one thing. I'm the just Quran. Saying, you I'm said you know the Quran. I know the Quran. This is a verse. But let me tell you. I know but you the know verse. what the Bible says? I know the verse. Why, I, I, I know it's okay, let me ask you this. Why would, hold on. I know you know why it's not? I believe it's I know corrupted. Bakara. I know all these things. I've read them. Smash the baby's heads on the rocks. Kill your. Smash the head of the baby in the rocks. This was a, a supplication of a Jew saying, God, do to them what they did to us. But let me show you how we can get them busted. If he is against such a thing, this is not something they did. This is a Jew who his people are being killed. The enemy, they smashed the head of their babies. He said they are like what they did to us. But let me show you. The Quran speaks about killing a child and how they killed him. They smash his head. This is this is what happened, and who did it? A prophet of God. All right. Uh, chapter eighteen, verse number seventy-four. Then both. This is Musa's and the prophet of Allah, Al-Khadr. Al-Khadr is higher than Musa's. Allah, he sent Musa's to learn from Al-Khadr. So imagine. So this is the guru, Al-Khadr. He saw a kid, a boy. He killed him. Musa says to him, why you killed him? He's innocent. Let us see first how he killed him, shall we? Remember, chapter 18, verse number 74. Your Bible says smash the head of the baby. This is supplication of a guy. It's not God. You're stupid. And you're a liar. Let us see. Yeah, let's go actually 74, 74. 
let's find out how he killed him. How Al Khadr killed the guy. And I will post the link for you. So they set off after leaving the ship, making their way on foot until they met a boy who had not yet reached the puberty. Playing with other boys, he did not do anything. Whom his face was fairest. Al Khadr, he slew him by slitting his throat with a knife while laying down or by tearing his head off with his hand or by smashing his head against the wall. <laughs> Abdul. So he is now upset from the Bible that a Jewish guy is asking God, God, do to them the same they did to us. God punished them for what they did to us. God smashed the, the head of their babies. This was a guy praying. In your religion, this is what you do. And when Moses, and imagine, when Moses, he asked the guy, why in the world you kicked the, you killed him? What he did? Moses he said, because later he will leave Islam. Huh? So we punish people before they commit a crime. And if this is the case, then we should kill every boy who don't believe in Islam before he grow. You see the stupidity? I hope the brother who made this video is listening and he is collecting reference. This is not a supplication God kill him. This is how the Prophet of Allah killed him and he is the one teaching Moses the sense of logic. And this boy is a Muslim boy. His family are Muslims. How we knew? You go a few verses after. Down there. Verse number 80. al Khadr he explained to the stupid Moses why he killed the boy. And as for the boy, his parents were believers. And we feared lest he should oppress them by religion and disbelief rebellion and disbelief this is a contradiction for what the Quran is saying copying Moses the one who killed a person innocent person as if he killed all mankind this is what Moses says in the Bible Quran took it, put it there. This person is innocent. He's a boy. He killed nobody. He did not leave Islam. He did not even know what Islam is about. And even Musa says it clearly. You killed an innocent boy. <laughs> 